Mike, um, I guess right here, just talking about the game specifically, I know you have other experienced guys on the floor, but what do you feel like as a team you kind of had to work through once Trey goes down, kind of losing one of your key sort of facilitators there? And basically, what do you think your team found in that last maybe seven to eight minutes in terms of pulling together at both ends of the floor? Well, I didn't really have to go back to the bench much. I, I was determined tonight to play the seniors because it was their night. So... X and Lil was going to stay in there no matter what. Um, you know, we shuffled Gabe in and out. and I don't even know if Walker saw the floor in the second half. He might have saw it for a few. But um, it's tough losing a key player. I mean, that's a part of sports. and um, But we hung in there. That's all I can tell you. We got the, the big stop that we needed coming down the home stretch and got the rebound to secure the win. Mike, obviously Khalil has been a pretty big contributor for you guys, but especially down the stretch here as of late, what's kind of been the key to unlocking his game? I know he had another big performance today. All I can tell you guys after that first month, he's been a totally different player. And, you know, I got to give tribute to my coaching staff and and how they've worked and we pushed him as a unit and his teammates believe in him. I believe in him and, He's been phenomenal. He's just been playing unbelievable, man, which is kind of nice to see. Coach, uh, Anthony and, and Trey, obviously, in their speeches, came out with a, their full support of you. What does that mean to you to hear from them t two guys yeah. like that so forcefully in public? I'm not surprised at all. It means a lot. You know, we've been we've been through the battles together. And, yeah, Lil hadn't played a whole lot, but – He's played some this year, and he's played well for us. And for him to to tell the Hoosier Nations that he's coming back, along with Galloway, that means a lot to me as a coach. Yeah, Mike, when Michigan State kind of made their run and ended up taking the lead, what was kind of your message to the team to stick with it and I guess not let them, you know, pull, pull it out in the well, end? Well, you know, I thought we would play through it. Um, but I think when they went up five, they hit, they hit a three and went up five or six. Then I took the time out. And I just expressed, hey, you know, you seniors, this is your last go around, man. And, you know, relax, we okay. And we came out, we scored a bucket, and, and then we were, able to, we were able to take the lead. And it was back and forth, but we made the plays that we needed to make to secure it. Yeah, Coach, I know Galloway got hurt today, but I wanted to get your thoughts on just what he <coughs> meant to you guys as a senior, as a leader, points, assists, just everything he's given to you guys as, as a senior. It means a lot. You know, as a senior, that's what I expect you to do. You know what I mean? You know, you go through four years through a, with the program, you know, you grow. You're supposed to grow every year. And... If you don't grow, then I haven't done a great job in coaching. And um, he's grown, and he's helped us a lot this year in so many ways because we haven't had Xavier Johnson, the other senior. So um, I don't know what his status is right now. Uh, he's being evaluated, so we'll have a better feel of where he is tomorrow. Um, but... I give a lot of credit to the guys in that locker room who kept fighting. It's it's tough playing Izzo's teams, man. They Izzo can coach his ass off, and their teams they they just play hard. They force you to have to play for forty minutes, and that's what happened tonight. Yeah, coach. Last week you had the news about your job and recruiting, <laughs> and then meanwhile you guys are on a four game winning streak and look like an NCAA team. What what has it been like you per, for you personally to kind of manage through those two different things going on at the same time? Should never be any questions about my job, based on what I've done here since I've stepped foot in Indiana as a coach. So I'm not even going to entertain you know questions about it because shouldn't shouldn't be anything out there floating around about my job. I've done my job, and I'm going to continue to do it. Yeah, um, Trey and Leal afterwards saying they're uh, returning for next year. The last few days, um, what have you kind of said to them? What have they said to you, and what's their return mean for next year? 
Well, I mean, it. I mean, for them to say they're coming back, hell, we we got to continue to build our basketball team. I don't know who's going to be here, who's who, you know, where we got to go and get players. I mean, that's that's the world we live in with the portal and and what's going on in college sports. So, I uh, I can't address none of that, and I can't tell them who's going to be their teammates. Just don't know. I don't know that yet. So this summer will be very pivotal and important for our program and moving forward. I mean, that's just – that's what college basketball presents every summer. Mike? M- Mike. Um, obviously, you've won all the games you can win during a regular season, finishing 10-10. and 10. And, if, of course, if you win the Big Ten tournament, you're going to get an NCAA tournament. But do you – would you think that three wins would get you in? This is a chance to plug your program. I don't know. You know, it – Listen, we're playing as good as any team in the country right now based on how we played these last four games. But we got to we gotta take it a game at a time, man. That's, you know, I'll never jump ahead. You know, we got to – I don't know who we will face, you know, the first game of the Big Ten tournament, but it's one game at a time and see where it leads us.